So let us pretend for a minute or three that we all agree that now conflicts can be seen between the rich and poor nations of this civilization and therefore we assume that there is no competition and that we ran out of all fiction concerning resources, except of course it's through natural courses. That a future lies ahead in which all experts expect the yearly steady growth of the economy as we know it, with all the techy side effects enabling us to blow it. If this rate is sustained, then a rough calculation makes it very clear that within a hundred years, we'll be X times as rich and X times as fucked as we're asking the question what the experts have done. What to do with this wealth and how do we spend it? We're so busy being buying, but why don't we end it? What to do with this wealth and why do we spend it? We're so busy being buying, but why don't we end it? Do we shop till we drop? Do we buy till we die? Do we use till we lose? Do we go with the flow? Do we build till we fill? Do we suck till we fuck? Do we do we? Do we never have enough? Do we really need that stuff? Do we stick to the greed? Do we knock us off our feet? Do we climb up to the gutter? Do we wise up like another? Or do we, do we, do we? We need poets, we need painters, we need poets, we need painters, we need poetry and paintings. We need poets, we need painters, we need poets, we need painters, we need poetry and paintings. Narrow minds are weapons made for mass destruction. Father on the giant air seduction. Sheep with crazy leaders headed for disaster, courting jesters who find themselves as masters. We need poets, we need painters, we need poets, we need painters, we need poetry and paintings. The shrub who took himself for a bark. The squeak who took himself for a bark. The shrub who took himself for a park. The squeak who took himself for a park. We need poets, we need painters, we need poets, we need painters, we need poetry and paintings. We need filmers and writers and dancers, musicians and actors and sculptors and bakers, electricians and doctors and builders and cyclists and thinkers and lovers and friends and neighbors and others, filmers and writers and dancers, musicians and poets and painters and poets and painters. But you know how it feels when you're standing at the gates and the doors are locked and everybody hesitates, hesitates, hesitates to open their minds, to raise some blinds, to take an opportunity to see what's going on outside. Who says open the borders? Open the borders, not the law and order of a uniform or uniform or unified forthright dream come true of a badass painter. What's it going to be this time? A three-piece suit dictator, a business boom creator, a high-rise simulator. Walls might fall down, but it's dig the decorator. You talk about pollution, and we'll talk about pollution. This is no solution. This is a fusion of con man and a fusion of real confusion. And I want no choice of walking on white or black street or dance to a one-way blurry gray dead and beat or somebody telling me what to do, what to do, what to do, or who to meet. If I want to make a stand, it's on my own two feet, then I seriously believe in all things spontaneous. People all around me being simply miscellaneous, that should be obvious. No need for boring faces in a nag-nag oasis who don't like nothing but the safe, stupid places. Because hating people means leaving useless traces, and it's time to realize what the pride of the human race is. Just take a look around, there's so much to be found. You can travel the world in your own hometown. Good evening, buonasera, goedenavond, bonsoir. There's much more fun on Global Boulevard.